um, of course, depends on a genome. And the better the annotation and the better the genome, the better your understanding of differential expression and hibernation is going to be. And I guess I want to start by saying I think I, I'm still totally devoted to the concept that uh, phenotype comes from expression of genes. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if we want to understand the hibernating phenotype, we need to understand the differential pattern of expression that goes with the phenotypic changes that are characteristic of, of hibernators. And, and you know what, what's important for human medicine out of that, I can think of the two most important things are resilience of tissue to things like cold and ischemia reperfusion damage. And then also just the whole idea that you can reversibly metabolically suppress the function of a cell. I mean, you just take metabolism down to nothing and that's fine for a while and then restore it. And so these things are, I think, incredibly important and the lessons we can learn from them are incredibly important. 